Hey, everybody. All right. Good to be here, folks. Very good to be here, as a matter of fact. I just got off the road. I was in um, Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to the Deep South before. <laughs> it was very nice, but I kind of felt like I was in a big ass Denny's. I mean, come on, man. I had fun, man. I was a little apprehensive about going. You know, I get like five miles across the Mississippi border. I'm driving down a highway, and I see some black dudes running up the shoulder of the road. I said, huh? Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. You OK? Did your car break down? You need a lift or something? And I'll never forget it. This guy looked me right in my eyes. He said, shh. We escaping. <laughs> well, I said, you didn't get the memo? <laughs> We've been free for some time now, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm kidding, Mississippi, because you know they just ratified the uh, 13th Amendment. Did you know that? Or oh, the 14th, whichever one makes me free. They just passed it. <laughs> you know, I, I pay close attention to all this little racial history. There's stuff in New York you guys should see while you're here. Like in Washington Square Park, this is interesting. They have these two big trees where they used to hang criminals back in the old days, but they would actually hang white people and black people on different trees. <laughs> like that's gonna hurt our feelings, you know? <laughs> like you're gonna see a bunch of black people marching. We wanna be hung on the same trees that y'all. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, now, you know, I'm originally from D.C., which was, a, which was an interesting experience. I just went back recently. Very scary. Um, I had the most dangerous job in the District of Columbia. I used to deliver pizzas for Domino's. I don't know. <laughs> they would rob me every day. I'd come to the door, hey, buddy, here's your pizza. Great! Put it on the table. You know? <laughs> I had to get a gun. You ever see a Domino's pizza boy with a gun? I would bust in people's apartments. <laughs> Dominoes, freeze! <laughs> Put them out in the floor, man. Get on the floor, Delbo! <laughs> Scary stuff, man. I mean, that was the kind of city, Washington, where you almost wish superheroes existed. I'm saying that normally I don't like superheroes. I, I think they're bad role models for children, if you look at them. Like, my favorite superhero growing up was the Incredible Hulk. Loved him. Figured he's green, I'm black. Hey, close enough. I can work with him. But he was the worst role model of them all. You ever see his TV show? Same story every week. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me if I was angry. Do you remember what would happen after he said that? Anybody? They would beat his ass like an animal. <laughs> then he would get mad and turn into a green monster and beat them up and just keep on walking like nothing happened. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Every week. I mean, really, man. I was watching this thinking, what kind of role model will fight that much? <laughs> After five episodes, I was like, hey, buddy, maybe it's you. <laughs> Maybe you just can't get along with people too well. <laughs> Nobody gets their ass kicked every week for nothing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and superheroes are prejudiced. I don't care what anybody says they are. They only fight crime for the very rich. <laughs> you will never see Batman in the projects wasting his time. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> I could see him there just robbing. Yes, Batman. <laughs> Didn't we park the car right here, man? 